Hello and welcome to the Gorilla Science Space Yoga series. My name is Gemma and during these videos we'll be exploring the effects of space travel on the human body and mind through the practice of yoga. So if you're ready, let's take our bodies on a journey into space. So come to a comfortable seated position, either cross-legged or on your knees, whichever is more comfortable for you. Sit up straight, right from the lower back, lifting your chest and drawing your shoulders down and back. And just rest your hands gently on your thighs. In this video, we'll be exploring what happens to the muscles and bones of the human body during space travel. When humans leave planet Earth and enter space, there is much less gravitational force working on their bodies. This is called microgravity and is experienced as a feeling of weightlessness. While it might look like a lot of fun to see astronauts floating around in the space station, it's not actually very good for their bodies. Away from Earth's gravity, the biological mechanisms which keep your muscles and bones strong and healthy are no longer triggered and the tissues start to waste away. This means that astronauts have to work really hard both before and after space travel to try and counteract these damaging effects. So in this episode, we'll be focusing on some yoga postures that strengthen the muscles and bones of your body in order to prepare for space travel. Let's come up to standing. Stand with your big toes together and your heels slightly apart. Bring your body weight back slightly so your hips are stacked over your heels. Engage the quadriceps, these muscles on the front of the thighs. Draw your low belly in and up, lift your chest, roll the shoulders down and back and extend your fingertips down towards the floor, rising up through the crown of your head. This is called mountain pose and is the basic standing posture. So as we stand here, the skeletal and muscular systems of your body work together with Earth's gravity to enable you to stand up tall. So as your feet ground down into the Earth, you can work against this to rise up through the crown of your head, extending the fingertips down towards the Earth. We'll begin the practice today with a couple of postures that focus on strengthening the legs and lower body, as these are the areas that suffer the most bone density loss in space. So start by bringing your hands to your hip, bend your knees and hop your feet to a wide stride. We'll begin with warrior two. Bring the body weight back slightly over the heels, make sure you've got your two heels in one line and the feet in parallel. Again, again to the quadriceps, draw the belly in, lift the chest and extend your arms out towards the side, keeping the shoulders down. Turn your left foot in slightly and your right foot out 90 degrees, making sure that the inside edge of the foot is parallel with the mat. Keep the abdomen sucking in, keep the chest lifted as you inhale, rising up and exhale, bend your right knee. Push the knee back towards the little toe side of the foot, make sure it doesn't fall forwards and keep the breath flowing. Finally, turn your head to look along your right arm. Although we don't often think of them as such, bones are living tissues. They're responsible to disease and injury and are self-repairing. Your body is constantly breaking down and replacing old bone tissue. And on Earth, these two processes happen at the same rate, so there's no overall loss of bone mass. Earth's gravity provides a constant resistance to your skeletal system, enabling it to maintain its bone density, resist fractures and stay strong. So really grounding down through that back leg, keeping the posture nice and strong, and then bring the gaze to the front, straighten your right leg, turn the right foot round, and just rest your hands on your hips a moment. Make sure your body weight's still back over the heels, chest lifted, and we go to the other side. Turn now your right foot in, and the left foot out 90 degrees, fully rotating that leg. Inhale out, stretch the arms, ground down through the right foot and bend now your left knee. Push the knee back towards the little toe side of the foot and finally turn your head now to look along your left arm, extending through to the fingertips of both arms. In the microgravity of space, the force which the bones have to resist is greatly reduced. This means that old bone is broken down much more quickly than it's replaced, resulting in bone density loss. Astronauts can lose 1-2% to of their bone mass for every month that they spend in space, and this occurs mainly in the lower, load-bearing parts of the body. 
So that's the lower back, the pelvis and the legs, the areas that we're using now. And then bring your gaze to the front, straighten your left leg, turn the left foot round and bring your feet back together. Stand again in mountain pose. Toes together, body weight back, chest lifted, roll the shoulders down and back and breathe. Inhale, rising up through the crown of your head and exhale, extending the fingertips down towards the floor. Next, we're going to do a one-legged balance. So feel free to come to a wall if you need some help with the balance today. Otherwise, spreading the weight into the right foot, grounding down through the ball of the big toe joint. With your hands on your hips, draw your elbows back and take the left knee up 90 degrees. Gazing at a single point, drawing the belly in and up, chest lifted, shoulders down and back. The bone density loss which astronauts experience is much like the condition called osteoporosis, in which bones become weak, fragile and brittle and are at higher risk of fractures. Loading onto one limb, like we're doing now, is one of the ways in which a yoga practice can help to trigger bone tissue production and therefore maintain healthy bone density. This could help to prevent or slow down the rate of osteoporosis. So just holding this posture for a little bit longer, really strong through that standing leg. And then with control, bring your left foot down, transfer the weight onto the left foot, body weight back over the heel, engage the quadricep, and now lift up your right leg. Drawing the belly in, keep the chest lifted, and the elbows back. Even for people who don't have osteoporosis, bone density naturally decreases as we get older, but the monthly loss in space of 1-2% to is roughly equivalent to a year in old age. Astronauts who are in space for six months can lose as much as 20% of their bone mass in the lower load-bearing parts of their bodies and are at high risk of fractures when they return to Earth's gravity. So again, just maintaining this balance for another few seconds and then with control, bringing that leg down and return to mountain pose. Bring the body weight back over the heels, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down and back and breathe. Next we're going to turn to the side for warrior three. So step forward first onto your right foot, bring your hands onto your hips, draw the elbows back and gazing at a single point, pivot down, bringing the upper body down and the left leg up. So again here we're loading onto one limb which is increasing bone density but we're also using the muscles of the back body to support the weight of the torso and the lifted leg. So it's really great for strengthening all those muscles as well. And then with control step back onto your left leg and we'll go to the other side. So stepping forward now onto the left leg drawing the belly in and pivot forwards into your warrior three. This is also a posture which requires really good focus, balance and coordination, which are also skills that astronauts will need for a space mission. So really keep your gaze on a single point, keep the breath smooth and steady, and then with control, come down and step back. Return to mountain pose. Okay, come again to face the front and we'll go to chair pose. Hop your feet to hip distance, body weight back over the heels, hands on the hips, draw the elbows back, lift the front of the body as you inhale and exhale, sit down into your chair pose. Make sure that your knees stay directly above the ankles so they're not falling in or out. Draw your belly towards your spine and keep the chest lifted. So we stay in a bit of a back bend here, drawing the elbows back behind you to keep open across the shoulders. After just a few days in microgravity, astronauts experience what is called muscle atrophy. This is where the muscles reduce in size and weaken. Muscles that are particularly affected are the calf muscles, the quadriceps, and the muscles of the back and the neck. These are known as anti-gravity muscles as they're what enable us to stand upright in Earth's gravity. And they're also the muscles that we're working here in chair pose. If we take the arms up in line with the ears like this, we can increase the load on the back and work the muscles a little bit more. So really extending the fingers up towards space, keep the belly in as you sit down a little bit more. This is a great posture for strengthening all of the leg and back muscles 
and therefore for also preparing your body for space travel. Sit down one more time, keep the chest lifted and then stand up all the way, bringing the arms down and hop your feet back to mountain pose. Bring the body weight back, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down and back. You may feel that your heart rate has increased here. Even the heart muscles are affected by the weakening effects of the microgravity of space. So let's do a second set of chair pose, this time with the feet together. Bring your hands onto your hips, draw the elbows back. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, sit down into your chair pose. Keep the belly drawing in towards the spine, chest lifted and the knees together. If you want to bring your arms up in line with your ears to challenge yourself, you can do so really extending up as you sit the hips down. In a short space flight of less than a couple of weeks, you can lose up to 20% of your muscle mass. And sometimes astronauts have to carry out a strenuous emergency procedure when they return to Earth's gravity, so they will need their strength. On a space mission, you have a two hour daily exercise regime in order to try and slow down the rate of muscle and bone loss. So again, just sitting down, really working the legs and the back here, keep the belly in, chest lifted, and then stand up all the way and bring the arms down, returning to mountain pose. Chest lifted, roll the shoulders down and back. Okay, so let's turn to the side and we'll just do a couple of postures now to stretch out the muscles we've been working. So step the feet to hip distance, bring the body weight back, chest lifted, and come over into a forward bend, lengthening the front body as you do so and bend your knees whenever you need to so that you can bring the fingertips to the floor, relax the head, just stretching here, the back of the legs. Don't worry about straightening the legs, just keep them bent. Turning the tailbone up towards space, stretching out the hamstrings as after we've been working them. And then stepping your hands forwards and your feet back, you're gonna to come to a downward dog position. Again, you can keep the knees bent and the heels up, really turning the tailbone up Again, stretching the back of the legs, the calf muscles as well this time, relaxing the head completely. And then just step your big toes together and lift your right leg up and back, extending the toes on an inhale and exhale. Bring that foot in between your hands, coming up to a long lunge. You can either stay here in a high lunge, or you can bring that back knee down and untuck the toe if you prefer. Either way, stretching out here the front of the left quadricep. Keep the belly in, keep lifting the chest, lengthening the torso. And then bring your hands either side of your foot. Extend the right leg up and bring it down back into your down dog. And then inhale. The left toes up, extend away. Draw that knee in and step your foot in between your hands. Again, if you want to drop that back knee, you can do so. Otherwise, just squaring the hips, keep the belly drawing in, chest lifted, elbows back. Stretching now the front of the right quadricep. Couple of breaths here. Then bring your hands either side of your foot. Inhale that left leg all the way up and back. Bring it down, take just a breath or two in downward dog. Relax the head. And then drop your knees down towards the earth and let's come over onto our back for Shavasana. So begin with your feet flat on the floor and just lower yourself down onto your mat and with your feet flat on the floor here you can just lift your hips and lengthen your lower back down towards your feet lift your chest and draw the shoulder blades down underneath you and just bring the hands a little bit away from your body with the palms facing up towards space and then slowly just lengthen the legs along the mat and relax the feet out towards the side and finally close your eyes. And you can do a quick body scan here, just bringing your awareness 
through the feet and the legs to the hips and the lower back, middle back and upper back, the shoulders, the arms, and the abdomen, navel and chest, and up into the neck and head, relaxing all the muscles of your face. And then just bringing your awareness to your breathing, the slow movement of the inhale and the exhale. And as we lay here, just allowing Earth's gravity to draw you down, holding you, supporting you. Earth's gravity does not only produce the sense of weight that we feel as we ground down into the Earth, but it's also responsible for our physiology at the deepest levels. If we were to live on a different planet with a different amount of gravity, we would be entirely different beings. And then just gradually start to invite your breath back to a more normal level. Start to bring some movement into the toes and feet, the fingers and arms. And when you're ready to move, you can just draw up one leg and the other leg and roll over onto one side and make your way back to a seated position. Again, either cross-legged or on your knees, whichever you prefer. Bring your hands to the center of your chest, close your eyes and bow your chin towards your chest. You can imagine the joy that astronauts must feel when they return to their home planet and get to breathe the fresh air of Earth's atmosphere instead of, instead of the recycled air of the space station. Your home. Take a moment just to notice how you feel, to close the practice, and then raise your head and open your eyes. Thanks very much for joining me today. So today you may have used some muscles that you haven't in a while, and you might feel a bit sore for a day or two. But for astronauts, it can take years to recover from the weakening effects of the microgravity of space. Remember that you can increase your bone density and strengthen your muscles with just some simple exercises like those we've done today. Join us next time when we'll be exploring what happens to the spine in microgravity.